Hey everyone, welcome to Eddie Sat TV. Now, just want to let you know there's a help guide episode coming out tonight, and um, hopefully today. I think it's talking about Pride Month, but so I'm um, late about it. Um, it's just time and tiredness is the key things in life. Anyway, um, intro. Welcome to Alisa TV. You know you want to watch it. So I just want to give a short update about things. Um, one, the Crash Documentary Part 2 comes out this week on the 28th of June. And second, the Parts Episode 6 will be coming out on... Um, uh, what day did I say? Um, I think I said either the 2nd or 3rd of July. But yeah, within the first week. Um, so that's all good and then next I'll be working on Stranger Things but as I'm filming today on Wednesday I just want to ease things out so I'm not going to film any of that today instead I'm just going to move on to either Thursday or Friday or whenever I actually feel like it. So I've just recently played The Amazing Pinterest of Captain Spear on Monday when I pre-loaded it, number one for pre-order. It's 100% free and it's linking to the events between Life is Strange 1 and Life is Strange 2. Now many things, um, many people have pointed out that yes, and Dante said that, Max and Go so it's over, but even though that's over, they still, Dante have said that the events with Life is Strange 1 and all of that, most of it still did happen, yeah, it's not like they flushed it down the, strain, down the drain. Even though Max and Chloe's story is done, that does not mean they're not done with Arcadia Bay, the other, I guess, popular to less popular characters, as of in the letter, Principal Way Wells makes a return, he does. So that's also amazing. And the voice of uh, Frank from Before the Storm is also the voice of the father of Chris in this short little free game. So is he going to be one of the main characters for Life is Strange 2? I don't know, but it will be very interesting and I find that amazing that he's the only person that now has done two things with Life is Strange. Now, one of the theories that I have seen is that Max created this whole timeline, created all of this, and yes, I, I will say that, even though Dante have said that the endings, um, both of them, I can't remember if they said they're canon or not. But no matter what happened, Max did create a timeline. Because if you created the timeline when you saved Chloe, then the snow three years later makes sense. It does. doesn't really matter where you're living because the snow can go up or it can go down. You can have light or heavy snow, you can. And also, this theory of Max creating a timeline does makes sense to me it does but then it's also depending on what ending you choose from Life is Strange. Now um, with Life is Strange 2 I, again we don't know that much. All we know is that there's new characters, Chris will make a return um, in the game, um, there'll be new locations and it also has pre-orders um, Arcadia Bay stickers are also in one of the pre-orders, so maybe are they saying that Arcadia Bay could make some sort of a return in this game? Um, it is all the possibility it is, um, but I really do love the Life of Strange universe, and even though if we don't get to see them or hear them, like Max and Chloe, then hopefully we get at least some references or maybe even name drop just to know where they are because at this point the only Max and Chloe thing left that I would know of that's coming out as new but it was also a leak called a Dust um, comic um, so yeah I might buy that so there I just wanted to talk about Life is Strange and what's been going on anyway uh, thank you guys so much for watching, um, and yeah, uh, peace guys, see ya.